Okay, now I will calculate the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of x multiplied by sine 2x dx. And for doing that, I will use partial integral to calculate the uh, antiderivative of x sine 2x dx first. And after this is found, I will plug the bounds, so 0 and pi over 4. So for, for this one, I will use partial integral here. Integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. And I will choose this x as my u. And this sine 2x dx as my dv. Why? Because this is easier to differentiate. And this is also easy to integrate. So I will have that u is equal to x and thus du is equal to dx and from here i will have dv is equal to sine to x dx and if we integrate both sides i will have v is equal to minus 1 half cosine 2x. Okay, now we will plug this into this integral and let's see what we get. So that will equal to uv, u, u is x, and v, v is minus half cosine 2x. So I will have minus x over 2 cosine 2x minus v, v is minus half cosine 2x and then du, du is equal to dx and we can take out the minus sign to the front and change it into plus. So I will have this and I can take out the one half before the integral sign. So I will have this. And let's do integration of this right part. So I will have minus x over 2 cosine 2x plus one half multiplied by this one is one half sine to x plus integration constant okay and we can simplify this minus x over 2 cosine to x plus one fourth sine to x plus some constant so i can use this result to calculate this by plugging the limit so i will have this minus x over 2 cosine to x plus 1 fourth sine to x and the bounds the lower is zero and the upper is pi over four okay now let's plug that in i will erase all of this and let's continue and so i can plug this so i will have minus pi over four divided by two cosine two times pi over four plus one fourth sine two multiplied by pi over four and the quantity of this minus this will become zero because this becomes minus zero over two cosine two times zero plus one fourth 
sine 2 multiplied by 0. So this part becomes 0. So all of this will cancel out. So this one is 0. And we only need to calculate this one. So this term here, cosine 2 times pi over 4 become cosine pi over 2 and cosine pi over 2 is also 0 and this one is also 0 so we only need to calculate this one so I will have 1 4 sine 2 times pi over 4 it's pi over 2 and sine pi over 2 is 1 so 1 4 multiplied by 1 and our final answer is 1 and thank you for watching my video let me know if i made any mistakes in the calculation thank you